Hey guys, I'm Nibbot K and welcome to another Hearthstone video where we're gonna take a look at version 2 of our budget Jade deck. Uh, again, we still have the Oaken Summons here, we're gonna take those out. Now, what is changing is that we have Malfury and the Pestilent. What we want in here is another Spellbreaker. We want another spell breaker to deal with a lot of things and we definitely want the second uh, scale bane we could try to put in a four cost taunt but we're relying on getting early um, you know removal and ramping plus our jade cards and we also have malfurion to help us out a little bit so that's pretty much the gist of the deck. So let's see how it's gonna how it's gonna do. Uh, budget J two. There we go. Let's uh, give it a try. Come on, come on, come on. Mm-hmm. Jade Idol. Okay. Someone on one one. It's okay. I mean, you're gonna die next turn. This is big mage, big spell mage. So this is gonna be hard to face up against. He's gonna have good board clears, he's gonna have polymorphs, he's gonna have uh, big spells such as meteors, flame strikes. Funny enough, he drew the second flame strike. So he has two flame strikes in his hand. Blizzard is there. Um, let's kill this. Let's do one damage to this draw card. Let's see what the card is. Well, let's just use our hero power. Now we only gotta use that thing to our hero power two more times or with Malfurion it's actually pretty good because we only use it one time and there and then you upgrade your spell stamina. Well, that's kind of annoying. Second Jade Idol. Don't know if it's worth it but for all it's worth I'm gonna do it. Uh, he might not kill just a 2-2. Then again, he might. Huh. I wonder... Possibly a counter spell or oh, that's a flame flame portal, Ireland portal. Shit. Okay. Counter spell, hmm.
Cone of cold. And I know he has two flame strikes in his hand. Let's counter this. Didn't get countered. Huh. Well, in that case, the circle of life is over. We need to start hitting him with uh, Malfurion. Probably has Alexstrasza in there. So that has to be, I think, Ice Block. It's bigger. There's the first flame strike. We got the wild grove to draw another card. With the spell breaker. And three attack. Might as well get a taunt in a way, just for funsies. They usually play like Frostless Jaina in this deck as well. Pop him here. It's probably not enough. So he's gonna use the second flame strike. Possibly also another secret. So no secret, that means we win with our spellbreaker, which will let which which will let us go through Your magic shall not the taunt and hit him in the face. GG Spellbreaker Cool we did it! At least one. <laughs> Let's see if we can manage another one. Uh, the kittens are upset now. Another mage. I'm gonna keep the ramp. Ooh, perfect ramp. Might be a aggro mage. Uh, temple, burn, I don't know. They have so many different names. Okay. 
I did not anticipate the dirty rat. Probably kills my minion or copies it. You little rat. Good thing it didn't uh, take out my Jade Spirit. Now, <laughs> excuse me, you are on fire. These belly. Oh, uh, it's actually not bad. Life is over. Let's get the let's get the taunts. Now we can either armor up for infinity and beyond or try to be aggressive dragon's fury here comes a big sp so it's a big big spell spell dude If we try to armor up, hmm. That was kind of annoying. It's a good card to have as a tech card, the Skulking Geist. It's annoying against Warlock and against Priest. They all have a lot of uh, secrets. Uh, one cost cards, not secrets. What the hell am I talking about? Scalebane. Scalebane's gonna probably. I don't think I'm gonna play anything right now. His deck is reactive as well. Excuse me, you are on fire. Jade Spirit. I guess I can play this. Oh. Interesting. Do I want to kill that? I do. I'm not going to play, play the Spellbreaker right now. Sucks. <sighs> Can always poly and fireball. I don't think they have a uh, meteor. Okay. Ah, shit, he still has enough for the thing. So we gotta do this. 
And then we gotta do this. And we gotta start armoring up. His armor is uh, insignificant. He's gonna have burn. He might even run fly. Oh shit. That can be anything. Silence that. I think he got enough armor. It's gonna be hard. Blizzard, okay. Elemental. Ping. as well I'm gonna hit fatigue before him there's a poly Don't want to nourish. What do I really need? Flame strike is a little bit annoying. He's gonna have a second um, meteor. Playing dirty rats as well. That's a nice strike. It's not a skill bane. I'm gonna take the two. I don't think he has that many minions, but he does have spells. I'm never gonna use Nourish, I'm just gonna kill myself. That's second Polymorph. Star Keeper. Effectively did a lot. Can you use Bone Mare with the greedy sprite? We got the Wrath. not worth using it. Very defensive. Oh, that's good. I'm probably clear. Second meteor or flame strike again. Frostage. 
Yeah, I knew there was something else in there. I'm just gonna die. I'm gonna die in fatigue. Probably even has uh, the big pyroblast. Maybe as a one of. Or maybe he got it. Meteor again. Ah, I got out controlled. You win. I can rest now. Super control me. Out controlled me. That one thing that got rid of all my spells. They have too many control control options like a whole lot the fact that they can polymorph like your biggest things and keep freezing your board that's always gonna be annoying I'm actually curious as to when Blizzard is gonna fix freeze freezing effects that's good that's good this entire hand is kinda good except the swipe I guess Try to find some jades. Or a greedy sprite. No sprite. We still have a shot at the sprite next turn. Got it. We're gonna go to four, and we're gonna be at five. Still no jades. That's kind of annoying. We got the scale bane. This guy survives, it's pretty good. He might just wipe. He does have the 1-1. One, one. Oh, he got his, his hero power. Use his hero power three times. The circle of life is over. Do I want? Nah, let's just get the normal one fives. There we go. We can bone mare something. Hopefully.
Shit! I need to silence that. I also need to deal three damage to that. That does four. Sure, we still got a board, at least a little bit. Now he's drawing cards. Now he's ramping. Okay. So ramping means ultimate infestation, possibly. So we can deal one damage. Draw a card. Yeah, swipe. I'm just gonna do this. Take this trade. Ultimate infestation probably on the 5-5. Five five. Luckily there's no coon. That Spitting plague. Time to get some jades. Um yeah, I'm just gonna do that. Start attacking his face a little bit. So that he doesn't have the armor anymore. You know, second ultimate infestation is a no-go. Because he already has 10 cards in his hand. Maybe Spreading Plague is gonna come out. Swipe. Jade Blossom. Oh man, I'm getting so tilted. Shades are bigger than mine. And he has a decent deck, not a budget deck. play with Mark of the Lotus is going to be pretty okay. He's drawing like almost his entire deck. The annoying thing is he has double ultimate infestation so he is just going to jam a lot of jade idols in there and then use ultimate infestation probably with Kuhn or something like that and get a lot of uh, big minions on the board. Time to shuffle. Uh, 
probably has Malfurion right about now. He's definitely gonna play Malfurion, I think. No. Those are the only forecast minions that he has. He doesn't play the Jade Spirits. Okay. He does play Spellbreaker. His big turn is about to shine. A lot of epic cards. He's not afraid of uh, fatiguing because he's just gonna put a bunch of jades back in his deck. It's already a six. to say I don't think we can win this one as well Feel free to try the deck out. If you want to change some things, um, I would probably change out, you know, like, where is it? I'd probably change out the spell breakers. Maybe just leave one of them in there. Uh, maybe you don't need the scale banes. You can uh, definitely get rid of the scale banes, put in double nourish so that you have card draw uh, and put in some low minions. Uh, a good minion is the plated beetle that uh, comes to mind so that's definitely something that you can put in um, I think it's a two drop where are you beetle beetlejuice 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 so this is something that you can put in as a two drop will help you a little bit in the early game plus it gives you armor so it's it's gonna help you with the spellstone in the early game yeah other than that don't forget to have fun and try your best hearthstone is hard hearthstone is definitely hard and i feel each and every one of you that plays budget decks and is getting uh, stomped on by high meta you know um, net deck decks out there i know it's hard uh, they say it's not pay to win, but if you don't have good cards, and a lot of good cards are epics, and even those cost a lot to craft, so. Uh, for Druid, one of the best epics. If you're gonna look at the epics, I'm gonna have Ultimate Infestation, which is pretty much a must have in each druid at least one copy you need to have one copy and then we saw the new uh, branching path is really good in druid again living mana is good in token druid uh, or aggro druid as you guys saw and astral tiger is pretty much a meme right now not that useful but if we go into the neutral zones, you're gonna see a whole lot of other interesting things like, you know, pirates that are decent. Um, what else is good? 
you know, you got your Hydras, your Cubes, your Burgly Bullies. Uh, Arcane Tyrant is interesting if you have spells. Faceless Manipulator is good in some circumstances. Skulking Geist is definitely good as a tech card. The Corridor Creeper is good at the moment. Uh, so if you have the cards, jam it up in uh, each and every deck that you own because it, this uh, this little bad boy is gonna get nerfed So he's probably not gonna see that much play. Maybe maybe in some some decks uh, if the meta goes slower now um, and At the high end you got really good cards. You got Dragon Hatcher, Primordial Drake, Grand Archivist, all your Giants You know stuff like that So yeah Oh yeah, I took out one of these dumbasses. <laughs> so if you have actually, this would already look like a better deck. <laughs> so yeah, give it a try. If you have ultimate infestation or if you have the dust, be sure to craft ultimate infestation first for druid. Because that card is still in the game and it's going to be for a long time. And it's definitely high value and it's not getting nerfed yet so enjoy it enjoy it while you can and make a lot of people rage <laughs> so yeah that's Hearthstone hope you guys enjoyed my budget deck definitely give it a try if uh, you're new to the game and you're struggling and you have like the dust to craft these jade um, jade cards uh, it's definitely gonna help you at least reach I don't know let's say rank 15 maybe even rank 10 depending on what what other things you might have besides these things and you can uh, tech in in the in your decks plus the meta is going to change after the nerfs hit so i'm seeing jade is going to be pretty good if you have some legendaries there kudos to you so yeah i'm niblet k i bid you farewell and i'll see you guys in the next video